Hello guys, it is a young lady again today. I'm back again. I'm back like a plan. So today I will be showing you how to do this motion graphics. So um guys, let's get on to business. I hate wasting time. So um this is what we're gonna be doing today, and it's basically a majorly called the motion graphics. So um let me get on to business. So, Alt B to change the background. And let me go back to my grid and bring it back in. Let me use sphere. So I'm just gonna go to pro polygon primitives and grid sphere. So this sphere now is what we'll be using. So um, let me go to edit <coughs> and look for the duplicate special and go to the option edit and reset settings and let's use nine copy it nine times yes nine and press enter so i need to be parenting um each um sphere to um another sphere so that is what i'll be doing let me show you how i want to do it so i'm gonna go to general editors and look for hypergraph hierarchy and just select that select the, yes this is it this is it so um press f to focus so this guy this is the last guy here so i'll select this guy and middle click middle mouse click and drop on this one select this one middle mouse click drop on this one select middle mouse drop 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 so i think i have that so i'll select this one and press ctrl d to duplicate and middle mouse and drop on this one i'll select this one again and let me move this up duplicate ctrl d and move this guy right here and let me do it one more time i'll select this guy let me zoom that select that guy and duplicate and now I will move this guy middle mouse click and drop it on this one so I have a lot of duplication and parenting and I don't know so um, the next thing now is to select everything here select everything highlight everything and let's go to um, our outliner and look we have the group here so um, I'm just gonna highlight this like this like so so I would uh, put press W W and move it. So I have my spheres. So these are my spheres. These are my spheres. My channel box and change this thing. So that the essence of changing these, as you can see, the way I selected these, I want the last one here, just like the way I move this. You know, when you highlight every object and you move it, it's gonna move like the, in this odd form you know the speed of the last uh, selection object will move faster just like when you rotate if you rotate this one will rotate more than the first one so that is just the concept of what i did here i highlighted everything and this one when i um like translate or rotate or um increase this the always the last one we and take effects the this one will be affected more than the first one and if i edit anything on the channel box the effect will be more greater on this last um, sphere this last object than the first one so that is just the basic so if i um like scale this guy up like i let me take 0 0.1.3 yeah you can see um the last one is more bigger it's much more much more bigger than the first one so that is what we uh, kind of need. So I think this is too big. So I need to just to reduce this to 1.03. Let's use that. Oops. That is 1.03. Yes. F. So this is it. Or let me probably use 1.04. Yes. So um, that is what I need now the next thing now in on the agenda now is to do what to just um if i kind of rotate this let me rotate this guy you can see what happens there 
you can see the that rotation uh, rotation works uh, much greater on this one than the first one that is why the first one still at the same point at the same origin that at the same origin this one kind of rotates a little bit and another thing you should notice is this uh, rotation this thing rotating um the vertex um point is um basically at on this one that's first one that is why this one is still at the point and the last one is rotating about that um um zero point the origin point so that is um it's now we can use this as um, a motion graphics just um key um set keys for every um Thing, and every um, movement or animation or any scale rotation and translation that we do on this app guys so I'm just gonna go to like 500 if that is not too much so um, um, after 500 let me go to the first um, thing here and just rotate this guy so like so and um, press S on your keyboard to select um, key for this place and I'll go to the last um, thing here and I can adjust something here a little bit yes kind of so if I go to the first frame and I play you can see something is definitely going on here so I think we are having something here yes I think I'm loving this this is an animation or motion graphics to be precise so um, Another thing I can do is go to probably this 500, 500 divided by 2, that is 250. Let me go to 250 here yeah. and probably do another thing so like so. Yes, and first work. Yes, um, go to the uh, 250 divided by 2. Sure, well done. This is it. This is it. What is 250 divided by 2? That is probably 125. So I'm going to go to 125. 125. Yes. I can leave it that way. So just to adjust something there. Go to three what three sixty-five. Is it? I don't know. Let me just select anything I see there and just edit something. So uh, yes, I think I'm having awesome animation there. So uh to make this interesting, to make this interesting we would um, create camera but before we create camera let's change this background the um environmental the perspective background to um black that is done by pressing alt b and change to white alt b to i don't know alt b yes that is um black color background so if i play now you can see that awesome um motion graphics for that ball so that is it another thing i can do is here is select this guy again let me go to um outline and select the guy and let me add um fung and fung i can select this and go to ramp and there i have my ramp and i can change the color yes i think i have that yellow let me give this green let me give this guy yes and green again probably this color i don't know the name and this guy red and this guy let me clean this guy up and keep this um, this color okay so um that is the color i want to give this guy but it won't show because ramp is like a texture so i need to go and select texture and i'll see it here and I think I love this. I can change this. Just go to um, where is that thing? Where is that? Yes, the type. You can change it. You you can change it to diagonal. You can change it to anything, but I prefer this one. I think I love this one. So if I play it again, play. So that is awesome. That is awesome. Uh, this is we're actually looking like a uh, uh, high balls. Well, it's cool it's cool actually it's cool there are a lot of things you can use this for you can use um the mash to um to achieve this 
but you can use a lot of things i think i did some tutorials on this thing so um we can select this to make this um interesting because uh, uh, like as as you know if i'm dancing alone and i'm uh, my dance is worse if i have another person having the same dance as i'm dancing it's gonna look awesome and uh, but sincerely let me forget about that let me um duplicate this alongside with the uh the input animation I've added to it. If I just duplicate it like that, pressing Ctrl D and duplicate, let me do that. I've duplicated this and I can move it to this side. And if I press play, this will not follow. So there is a way I need to duplicate this guy if I want this guy also to um, have the same, you know, the same uh, animation, the same movement as this one. So I'm just gonna click it like that. It should be this one and duplicate special go to the option and the reset 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 this and this should be one and, and again it, um let me duplicate um input graph and new group so this will create a new group for this and this would um would um transfer the animation on this one to the next one that i want to do uh, Made. so if i duplicate this i think it's gone now i have another one and they have the same motion so if i press this guy they would always go together together ho ho together ho ho together ho ho together so i can change um this guy its movement i can change it this guy i can change its movement by just uh, changing the um vertex point of this one and it will be the same movement but that movement would uh, be reacting i uh, will be acting upon the vertex point and that will make it a little bit different from this guy right here so i can just select everything like this and press d and press v so i can move this guy let me move it so probably decide yeah so everything every vertex point is on this guy so every vertex point of this space is on this guy so if let me go back to the first thing as you can see this is no more the same thing but it's as the same um information just like um the um vertex point is not um where this one is so we just change it you can see we still have the same thing Wow, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So, not to waste the time, let me just create the camera. So, I'm gonna stop this guy and create camera. So, go to panel and view from the camera that you created. And there we have our guys. So, um, this is one. You can view it like this. For the one, for the first um animation, just press S and go to this. and play now we are looking through the camera and it's rotating so think that grid over there it's um, kind of disturbing so we can um, remove the grid just come to this side and click on this side so we have no more grid. so that is the animation or motion graphics and it's pretty simple very very simple so guys so thumbs up and I'm saying that we shall be meeting again in peace and not in peace. So, peace out.